So I wanted to make a quick video addressing two pieces of misinformation that I keep seeing crop up in the Bleach fanbase from time to time, and it's really annoying that these rumors, I guess you can call them, these mistranslations are still persisting in the year of our Lord Yuhavak 2024. But both of them relate to Can't Fear Your Own World, which I think is the issue here, because while most Bleach fans I feel like know or have heard of the novels, they haven't actually read it themselves. So the first piece of misinformation that I keep seeing crop up is related to Shinji's Bankai, and how people still insist that it is banned. What happened here is that before the novels were officially translated, we had to rely on fan translators. And in this instance, the translator got a bit confused. What happens in the chapter? is that Kiraku is alluding to what Shinji's Bankai can do by relating it to his own Bankai, because they're both AoE powers. And he also compares it to the Bankai of a previous Kempachi, whose power, Gagaku Kairo, was, in fact, banned by Central 46. They told him he can't use it in the Seireite, it's too deadly. The official translation does not mention anything about Shinji's Bankai being banned because it is not banned. The second Kenpachi's Bankai was banned, and the fan translation just messed that up, and now to this day, many years later, that mistranslation is still circulating. You'd think that the anime, at the very least, would have cleared things up, but that doesn't seem to be the case. And the second piece of misinformation, I don't see this one crop up as often as the Shinji Bankai thing, but it still does from time to time. It is about Shuhei's Shikai and how Can't Fear Your Own World quote unquote revealed his true Shikai abilities. And that is also not the case. Shuhei does not have a true Shikai. What happened here is that towards the end of the story, Shuhei begins to activate his Bankai for the first time. However, in the immediately preceding minutes, as he slowly starts to turn his Bankai on, he begins to demonstrate regeneration powers. His opponent keeps cutting him down, and he keeps healing immediately and getting back up. So what fans rolled with here was that Shuhei's true Shikai allows him to regenerate, and that's not the case. Because again, if you actually read the text, you would know that this is only happening because he's invoking his Bankai abilities a little bit early. The novel says, and I quote, It seemed that the regeneration power earlier was a preliminary step toward the Bankai. He had awakened his Bankai here, and as part of that process, had invoked regenerative powers through his chains. So if you recall, earlier in the franchise, there are a couple instances of Zangetsu keeping Ichigo alive through his fights, whether it's manifesting a hollow mask under his robes to take the brunt of an attack, or just straight up possessing him against Byakuya and Okiora, Zangetsu was manifesting his own powers and abilities to keep Ichigo alive. This is basically what is happening in this scene with Shuhei. Shuhei is turning his Bankai on for the first time, and Kazeshini is giving him a little bit of a a little bit of a handicap. He's allowing him to use some of his Bankai regeneration to keep him alive long enough to actually fully turn his Bankai on. It is not a true Shikai ability. It is part of his Bankai power set, he's just accessing it a little bit early. But you still see people from time to time say that Shuhei has a true Shikai. In fact, I think even the Bleach Wiki has that listed as well. I'm guessing they haven't read Can't- well, no, they don't even consider Can't Free Your Own World canon, so I guarantee you they haven't read it. But that's the case here. So one, Shinji's Bankai is not banned, and two, Shuhei has no true Shikai. And I implore Bleach fans, once again, to read Can't Fear Your Own World. Or watch our fan dub, which we finished recently. So check that out if you haven't, and don't want to read the book. Thank you for watching.